and we're live. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Two Tangled Skeins. <laughs> we're February 23rd. Okay, I'm going to start a giggle attack here. Sorry. February 23rd, 2013. This is episode 29. I'm watching you. <laughs> I have now had two cups of coffee. Um, and I've been up since 4.30. <laughs> I'm Sue, also known as Crafty Seven. I'd like to welcome back previous viewers and any new viewers that have joined us. You're going to have to enjoy this ride, because... Yeah. Sorry, you're coming along for yeah. it. So, yeah, your turn. Caffeine's finally kicked in. <laughs> it's only taken... Seven or eight hours. Well, technically, I didn't have my first cup of coffee until noon. Oh, okay, well, that that, is... that was not a good idea. Also, it wasn't my choice. But, anyways. Yes. I'm Carrie, also known as Jade at Dinner. Um, and probably going to be rambling off topic this whole time. What um, else is new? You do it all the time. Point. Well, that's the whole point of our podcast sometimes. Just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Name. Oh, yeah. And I didn't write anything down, so, <laughs> you know. Blip. Blip. You can find us on Blip, YouTube, iTunes, uh, all under Two Tangled Skeins, T-W-O. Uh, you can find us on Twitter under Two Tangled Skeins, but it's two, like the number two. Um, I guess for you know, watching at home, it's this way. Oh. I think it reverses. Yes. <laughs> it's, I like to draw things in the air. Nice. Um, the, and you can find our show notes on uh, WordPress on our blog under Two Tangled Skeins .com, And come join our group on Ravelry. Surprise, surprise, it's also called Two Tangle to Gains. Do, 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 do. Dun, dun. <laughs> um, foes? Nothing. Nah, nah. No foes. But I've been working on a sock, so we're going to go poking around the needles. Po <clears throat> poking around on the needles. Let's not go poking the needles. <laughs> poke, poke, poke. I turned to heel last night of my... I kept calling them vanilla socks, but they're not just a vanilla sock. There's an actual pattern that I follow. It's called Basic Ribbed Socks by Kate Atherley. So, sorry for not mentioning that before. But um, this is it here. And it is Hobbit Garden, which is the socks that rock their silky base. Silky? Yes, silky. Silky. It's 81% merino, 19% silk. And so I turned the heel last night this way. Um, so it's quite nice. And it's super soft, and they are for my husband. You want to see the ball? This is what the ball looks like. So you can see the silk in there. And can you grab that other skein like you did last week? Is it there? Or did you bring it home? I have my own. No. Oh, it's right here. There you go. So that's the colors. And yeah, with the this silk, is, it just makes it a little different. Yeah, this is the Hobbit Garden on their medium weight uh, socks at rock base. Yeah. And so it doesn't have the white stripe, the white yeah, striping that the silk does. It. But the yeah. silk is replacing the nylon, which is basically what Carrie told me. So I did not know that. So would you like me to take it home? No. No. But apparently, last week's episode, be between me pulling my needles out of the sock and you sh doing the wiggle wiggle thing, best what show can ever. I, say? I shimmy. Yes, she does. And it was the yarn wasn't really the yarn wasn't listening. Yeah, I know. Well, it was because I was wearing a grabby top. Yeah. Um, Wait, those are knit. That didn't work. Never mind. Keep going. Keep going. Those are knit on 2.75 millimeters, which is a US 2. Um, the other thing I'm knitting on is the Gusto. And I printed out a color copy. And I'm going to take it out so that you can actually see. I've always had the black and white copy, so. So it's the Gusto Henley, I guess is what a guy just called the Gusto. It's by Ann Budd, and it's a unisex garment with a textured yoke. And the textured yoke is basically a mock rib. So I'm about an inch away from getting there. My progress is where the green stitch marker is. So you can see I've had a little bit of progress this week, but like, you know, it's, it's huge. So it, two rows is amazing. And it is knit out of the SMC Northern Wool Tweed, which I got off of webs. So it's this stuff here, and it's in the gray. And I love it because it has just little flecks of brown, little flecks of white, and it's just... Tweed. It's tweed. 
So you can see that in the picture there. Knit on 4.5 millimeters, which is a US 7. And it still looks like a skirt. It still looks like a skirt, I know. At least now it's, it's more of a, a mini skirt as opposed to a micro skirt. Knit this way. Mm -hmm. You can see. Halter top? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's actually a game me and a couple of friends of mine played in Walmart. Is it a skirt or a top? Yeah. Or a belt? Well, I mean, that a lot of times it kind of, we're assuming it's a belt. They're assuming it's a skirt. Then again, I'm also really tall and long waisted and yeah, mini skirts. Yeah. I'm sure my husband doesn't want a skirt. I'm fairly certain he doesn't either. Kilt maybe because he's Irish, but skirt? No. Anyhow, what do you have on the needles? Um, I am currently working on uh, The Pretty Thing Cowl by Stephanie Pearl McPhee, The Yarn Harlot. Mm -hmm. um, and it is, I'm trying not to swear, Feather and Fan Pattern. I hate the Feather and Fan Pattern. It's Old Shale is the other name for it. And it is one of those patterns that's ridiculously simple. It should be so easy. And window. just closing the window. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's not. I screw up every single row. I've actually- Carrie is human! Sorry. Just, I never hear you say you mess up pattern, so. Yeah, it's because I never admit to it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I will make a mistake on it. Well, you saw me tanking back a few minutes ago. Yeah, that was because I messed up. And I've done this on, it's only this big. It's a little doll skirt. Um, I have no idea why I'm a skirt kick right now. I don't even wear the things. <laughs> but yeah, I will screw up on every single row. And I've made an entire baby blanket out of this stuff. Um, yeah, I thought about making that blanket until I started doing the pattern and went, yeah, not happening. Every, it should be so easy. It should be. And everyone I know curses the pattern. Everyone. Um, it's a lie. Yeah. It falls under one of those, oh, it's so simple patterns, and then you actually do it, and it's not. <laughs> well, it is, but it's really simple to screw it up, too. Um, so what's the yarn? But this is, like I said, it's Pretty Thing Cowl by Stephanie Pearl McPhee, and I'm trying to get to the end here, which is why I'm kind of Should babbling. I sure. It's on 3.5 needles? Yep, it's on my 3.5 uh, signatures, and actually, here we go. Whoop. Thank you. Pull it out and do this. And Very I've got. Nice. I am on the. I'm about halfway through the middle section. Um, so I've got basically one and a half more sections, which are five repeats. Uh, so five, ten. We'll call it 15 rows left of the feather and fan before I go back onto this pattern. Which only in the reverse, it. which finishes okay. it. Um, so it's not a very long cowl. It's it's literally like... Oh yeah, it's yeah, it's not it's going to be... Um, that's probably about half of its current... Okay. It's just perfect. Yeah, it'll just be a nice little cowl. And it is, it's 100% um, alpaca. Mm-mm. Yeah. No. Oh, sorry. 70% alpaca, 30% alpaca. Um, bamboo. I thought but, but that's okay. It's that's the okay. softest. It's I got, so soft. I got this yarn at the ta the Tangled Skein in um, outside of Washington D.C. And um, yeah, uh, what she said. She bought it for me as a gift when they went yeah. down to D.C. Classic Elite Yarns. Yep, it's um, Mountain Tops by Classic Elite, and the colorway is Veil, I believe. But it's gray, but it's got a brownie tinge, like it. It's almost dove gray. Yeah. Um, I don't know what other way to call it, um, but yes, I'm petting it because it's, it's it's soft. And I was looking for something really special for you, and I picked that up, and I just stood there, and I had uh, my husband was there with his friend Nathan. They were sitting in the chairs because they have men's waiting chairs. It's hilarious, and I'm like, hold this, here, hold this, touch this, and Nathan just looks at me. He's like, really? I'm like, you're in a yarn store. You must fondle. And yeah, I ended up putting the other ones away because they weren't soft enough. And I literally had to get them to put it in a separate bag from what I bought our friend Lynn because she's allergic to alpaca. 
So I looked at the lady and I'm like, can you please put them in separate bags? And she's yes, Lynn, we now know that llama is also related to alpacas. Yes. And so she's like, really? She's allergic to alpacas? The poor thing. Mm. Yeah. Anyhow. Sorry. I kind of robbed your show. Um, this is the third time I've knit one of these. I knit two for my mother, two different ones, um, over the last couple of years. And I actually, despite the fact that it is 90% feather and fan, I really do like the pattern. Like it works well and it works well in a multitude of yarns, mm -hmm. um, and a multitude of weights, which is good because one of the ones I knit my mom was out of hand spun. Unfortunately, they were two different sizes of hand spun. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that I'm knitting away and I got most of the way through it, so I, you know, grab the next ball and keep going. And um, it it wasn't the same way. But how did it turn out anyway? It turned out really nice. Okay. Um, and I ended up just kind of inverting it so the the heavier part was on the bottom mm -hmm. um, because the heavier part actually splayed out more, so it it worked really well for it. Oh, good. Um, was it the same color you had just spent? Oh yeah, it was okay. the same color, same, like I... It just didn't end up being the same weight. And you didn't it was okay. when I was first starting to spin, and I'd spun a small amount of this stuff, and uh, then gone back, gotten more, and spun more, and I'd s there was probably a year or so difference in oh, the, the time between when I spun, and yeah. my spinning has been getting progressively thinner and thinner and thinner. Frog hair. Frog hair. Um, I'm not quite that thin yet, but I'm getting but there, it's and that's what I'm aiming for. Um, you bought a new spinning wheel, so you could. Yeah. And not recently. This is the no, no, the no. Spinning the previous B that I, I bought back. Not in a the new, summer. new one. Um, but yeah, this I had bought a new wheel last summer to to do this with. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So get on that spinning because you know you got to catch up to me. Dude, I'm not going to be doing much spinning between now no. and move day. If any. Well, you know, you could bring this the wheel here, leave it here while you move. And when you come here, you can spin. Yeah, yeah I could do that. Nice. You know, just saying. Because, you know, there's a place right there for it. Just saying. Um, I have my own wheel. It's officially mine. Yep. What else was I going to... Oh, right. Oh, there. Like I said, I've been up since 4.30. That's mostly my own fault. I went to bed at 7.30. Scatterbrain. Okay. Um, I had testing today to get into, I'm trying to go back to school in the fall, mm -hmm. and I had testing today to get into the program, and I had to be there at 9. <laughs> she just made it. Yeah, despite getting up at 4, I got up, I went and sat on the sofa, I figured I'd, you know, I'll play a couple of, of games and what, like just the, the random games online, play a Sudoku match or two. And Gadget comes and lays down on me right here and starts snoring. So what do I do? Fall back asleep. I woke up at 8.20. <laughs> I was technically supposed to be there at 8.30. Yeah. But Oops. you made it. I made it. They were late starting anyway. So and yeah, I'm sure you weren't the only one late. No, I wasn't. I was not the last person in line, which, which is, is all that matters. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Uh, yeah. Things on because I could have given you this yesterday, uh, last week, but I didn't. Oh yeah, that works. So, not that these are really going to fit on here. No, but it'll be able to show it. Cause it's not like yeah. <laughs> this is where, uh, that's where her sock blocker ends. Yep. That's the foot, and that's not even really stretched. Nope, that's my son's foot. Yeah, that's her son's foot. He's fourteen and a half. He's not done growing. No. He's at a size ten right now. Oh, that's nothing. I know. My brother's at a size 14. Yeah. So he's, they're, they're pegging him to be six foot two, six three. Yeah. yeah. My brother's six two. Yeah. So, yeah. And they think he's cute. Your brother is cute. Oh God, you're going to show this to him, aren't you? No. Okay. No, no. Don't worry. He's cute. And he has a deep voice. Sexy. <laughs> it's higher than it used to be because mm -hmm. you can actually hear him on the phone now. <laughs> Anyways, moving along. Moving along. Um, there was a point in my brother's life where I couldn't understand him without seeing him because his voice was so low I could barely hear it. Because um, apparently I don't hear the low registers very well. But this is just a basic sock pattern. With ribbing on the top. With ribbing on the top. Which you can't uh, see. Which you can't see at all. It's a black sock. Yep. Um, and I've got one and a half and a bit. Nice. 
um, the ribbing starts there. So just to kind of, <laughs> we'll just do it this way. I have uh, from there up yep. here left. <laughs> because it's for his hockey skates and in order for his legs not to chafe. It has to be fairly long. It has long. to be past the skates. So. Yep. I've commissioned her to do them. I did do pretty much. Oh yeah, you I did, did a lot on the first one. You did up to the heel decreases. Yep. Um, so this is the first time I've ever done. What is this heel called? It's not an afterthought. No, it's a slip stitch. But there's no, no name for it. No, it's not a slip it. stitch. I mean, it's a short row. Oh, short. That is the name of it. Short row. Short heel. row. Yeah. yeah, and I love it. I did it on the pattern called Socks on a Plane, which <laughs> are on my feet right now. And I love it because there is no picking up stitches afterwards. Yeah. See, so. I don't really care about the picking up stitches, but I also normally knit from top down. She knits from the bottom up. Um, and gadget. But hey, yes. Yeah, I, I left the socks out by accident yesterday when I went to work. They're going to get a good soaking and... And gadget slept on them all day. and... <laughs> You know, so I have a, we have two cats and two dogs. So you yeah, know what? Know. I'm covered in hair right now, so it's no big deal. I'm covered in their hair too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's all I've been working on. I've been carrying this around in in Sue's zigzag stitches bag. He's pretty. Which she may or may not get back when this is done. Oh, I'm getting it back. You have your own bag. <laughs> that one's mine. Just happened to have the project in it. And what my socks are in is this box bag by Harpo716, who is Stand By Me Yarns. So it's kind of cute. All right, on to other things. You want to talk about the Sal Cal Cal? Because we had a new idea. Sure. Okay. Um, we've had a couple of people ask if they can join in knitting on something else. Um, or knitting on, knitting and with knitting and color yarn that wasn't purchased as part of the knit along, the three yeah. colors. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to open it up to anyone, mm -hmm. um, but uh, only people who have purchased the yarn for the cow uh, from knitting and color are going to be eligible for prizes. Yeah. Um, so we have kind of a, a list of who's got, who kind of got it and whatnot. Um, partial list, but I'm going to open a thread and ask who, people to reply who've actually bought from the Two Tangle scheme for the knit along. Yeah. And that way those people will be eligible for the draw. For the, for the draw. And it's either a finished spinning project or a finished knitting project. Eh, let's just say a project in general, knit something, doesn't have to get finished. Okay. Because the people who spin, the whole point was them to finish the spinning. Or are we... Eh. On the fly here, don't mind us, participate. Well then, it doesn't make sense, the people who didn't... So it's only the people who bought from the... Okay, never mind. Well, Prize figure eligibility the, is people who bought, who bought the th one of the three colors, colors of yarn or one of the three colors in fiber. And are doing something with it. Okay. So you not have to necessarily has to be finished. finished. Okay. But you got to post a picture of something. Okay. And once March, March 1st comes along, I'll open a new thread. With the, you know, the actual rules and everything as yeah. opposed to, well, I was just making this up on the yeah. go. We'll open the rules and everything and yeah, that'll be that. Um, I got, uh, called Stash Enhancements. I got a bag. I bought a bag from somebody that I'm a Facebook friend of. She is called... You bought a bag. Shocker. It's not small, like it's tiny pencil case ones. Oh, stop. Anyways, I saw it on her Facebook because I follow her on Facebook. Her name is Jen and she's from Prairie Girl Creations and she's local. And this bag is absolutely gorgeous. She happened to have enough fiber, uh, fiber, no. Fabric? Fabric left to make me one. And it's got really nice pink inside and she even has, I'm not sure if you can see that, that's her little logo inside. It's really nice. It, um, where very can, well made. Where can you get them? Prairie Girl Creations. Um, which is, is Etsy or? No, prairiegirlcreations.com. 
so www. And her name is Jennifer Austin, and she's local, like I said. She makes all kinds of bags, purses, um, um, messenger bags. Like she has some really nice stuff. She's, and it's very well done. Like the insides, as Carrie was telling me earlier. Like look at that inside. It's it's oh, just yeah. it's a French. What is it? French scene. French scene, and like. I don't know. May or may not have family who works seamstress. It's really, there. really nice. So it's double mm -hmm. and yeah. And I mean, I can easily fit a soft project in that. Whereas the smaller little sort of pencil case type bags are just for notions, and that's kind of why I liked it. So I will link her in the show notes. And yeah, I'm getting it back. So whatever. There we go. Um, getting what back? Yeah. <laughs> the other shout out I want to do. Oh, come on. There's Everyone else saw that one coming. <laughs> of course. Another shout out I'd like to do is there's a new group on Ravelry called The Knotted Bag. Mm -hmm. And it is a friend. Um, I think you've met her. Did you meet oh, her? Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, her name is Diane. She's Freedom For You on Ravelry. And she has a group and she also has an Etsy site. Um, so go check her out. She makes Japanese style knotted bags, but they're nine by nine. So the they're not really bags. small. She's actually going to give Carrie and I a bag. Um, I'm going to see her tomorrow, and we will show them next week on the show. And so, yeah, because I was just all and I Diane, asked. By the way, squirrel. Yes, I told you I picked the squirrel just for her. And mine's <laughs> uh, like a gold color with uh, flowers on it. So that's that, and we have the giveaway to do. Mm -hmm. So we should do that now. And your shawl request. Oh, shawl request. I am. She's stumped. Stumped. I want to knit a shawl. I want to knit a simple shawl. I mean, I did the Multnomah. Yeah, not simple. I want. I don't have to think about it, and I can memorize the pattern, and I don't have to carry around a chart. But um, not garter stitch hell. But not garter stitch hell, because you know she'll end up having to finish it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a thread, and I have. I want it in DK. I want to knit it on size 4, which are my signatures. So uh, size 6 US, size, size 4 millimeters. 4 millimeters, 6 US, thank you. And I want to knit it in DK, which is, I have Swish DK from Knit Picks, and I have about 860 yards. So I would like people to suggest me some patterns that, like I said, easy peasy, I don't have to think about, that are really easy, but that aren't garbage stitch hell. So I'm going to open a thread. And actually, since we're on the topic of shawls, might as well do a mini book review. Sweet. Um, I love it. I'd actually brought this book for over me. for her to use. Mm -hmm. So if you find a pattern in here, you can. Chances are, if it's a shawl book, I've I own it. So <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Um, it's by Cheryl Oberling, uh, and it's folk shawls, and it's from Interweave Press. There we go. Um, retails for about uh, twenty-two focus. bucks, U.S. and Canadian, apparently. Okay. Oh no, that's twenty-six Canadian. Because, you know, yeah, well, the dollar isn't a Go on chapters or Amazon, you'll get it cheaper. Exactly. And um, I love it. Like, it's full of, it's got a lot of neat little tips and tricks and whatnot and explanations of how to do things. Um, it's got beautiful pictures. Beautiful pictures. Um, like, it does have a full section on techniques at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just trying to find, like, different cast on and everything. Um, it's got beautifully sized charts um, and diagrams. I'm trying not to. Uh, diagrams of the the shawls yeah. themselves. Yeah. Um, show just one of the pictures because they're just. But we'll show the same. That's the this picture of the shawl I just showed. Um, and so it's lovely. Um, all of the shawls are relatively simple shawls. They're, um, they're what they say they are. They're folk shawls. They're the kind of things that um, women would have knit for themselves to wear to market, to wear, to work in the fields. To wear. To wear. Not just as a showpiece. Not exactly. Yeah. Um, so they're not complicated patterns, but they are really nice. And they all have um, interesting little details about them. Um, it's well written, like the patterns are well written, well thought out, um, explanations are all there, all of the terms she uses, um, and she uses very, very standard um, increase and decrease signs. Okay. 
And actually, I think all of them are pretty much just uh, knit over, uh, yarn overs and knit two together as SSKs. I think there might be like oh, a knit three simple. in there somewhere. Um, so I love it for that because yeah, they're. What's the shawl in here you were telling me that I should? Uh, Lacy Prairie, which Lacey if you look Prairie. on my um, Ravelry queue, there's one on there called the Cotton, Cotton Prairie. Or Cotton Lacy Prairie. I think it was Cotton Prairie, was how That's I named here. it. Um, and it's it's a beautiful shawl, looks gorgeous. It's what I'm thinking about doing. Looks a lot more complicated than it actually is. Mm -hmm. It's always a good thing. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice book, has 25 patterns in it, so it is value for money, definitely. Um, so yeah, something I would definitely recommend if you're looking to, especially if you're looking to get into shawls, but you don't want, well, garter stitch hell. Um, I would recommend it. And it's not scary lace. It's not, no it's not. See I'm afraid of doing lace and she bought me oh, or charts and they just, they scare the crap of me. I still haven't completely done anything with charts. So if this, that's the one thing with this book is it doesn't have the written instructions. No but I'm saying if it's that easy. Oh yeah, the like, charts are, there's very few, like I think the most complicated chart has four symbols in it. One of those symbols is a yarn over. And <laughs> it's well, sorry, yeah. I'm I'm not counting the knit and pearl. Okay. Just so because yarn over. You know, it's got yarn overs, knit your leans, your increases, so SSKs. your SSK, your uh, okay. knit two together. Yeah. And they're all in very orderly uh, pairs. Um, so it's not you know you don't have a yarn over in the middle and then your SSK over here somewhere. Yeah. They're all they're together where they should be. Exactly. Like they're very very uniform patterns, um, mm -hmm. but they come out really nice yeah. and they look gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, so like I said, I would yeah, definitely I'll recommend it. I'll be borrowing it because I might end up just doing that lacy yeah. shawl. But we'll see. Yeah. But give me some suggestions. I'd love to see what you would suggest and you know, maybe someone can convince me to do a lace pattern with 860 yards. I don't know. We'll see. And actually, you know what? I'm going to do the opposite side of that because I like I, I need more shawl patterns. Um, I don't care for care about weight, needle size or anything like that. I want the most complicated lace pattern you can find. Okay. So and I will open a separate separate one. Okay. Separate so thread. we'll have two new threads. Yeah. The most complicated because you know. Okay. Lace. The absolute most complicated pattern you can find. I will know so. And please post pictures. Oh yeah, if you've knit it, I want pictures. Yeah. Um, I already have the princess shawl, and I have the yarn for it and the needles for it. It's on. It's in the queue. Um, You're knitting the queen. Susan. And I'm knitting the queen Susan, which, by the way, yes, I know. You don't have to remind me. I have not actually knit the the section that I was supposed to for that's this, okay. But. And you've already done the even star. Yeah, I've done the even star. So I've done besides, two Napoleons. Besides those. Or just look up what she's done and try and give her something that she hasn't done because, yeah, there's a lot of shawls in her projects, but yeah. Giveaway time. <laughs> Giveaway time. Um, now, I tried to show my phone before we started recording. You can't see it because no. we have a light today and the light outside is, well, it's kind Crap. of sleeting. So, yeah, it's... So we have... 37 entries. Oh, come on, you work. Ah, there we go. So 2 to 38. 37. Number 37, one? Yep. Oh, wow. So that's the last person who posted. Mm, no, the no, second, second last, last person who posted, which is Chumstick. Eee! Chumstick, you have won. I haven't seen all of the pictures yet, um, and she is the cutest picture. Not the is dog in her dog? Best? I don't know. Oh, I think no, it's, it's from, from one of those forward emails no. sent to me by mother-in-law. So you have won the Flying Mule fibers. Yay. So please PM me. Actually, PM me. Oh, okay. It's my turn to ship. Okay. So PM. Um, so PM me. Carrie, um, your address. Your address, and we will get this beautiful, beautiful thing out. And now we will open up the threads to chatter. So if you yes. want to chatter, because chatter away. I think I have been debating whether or not I was just going to take my mod powers and actually comment in people's posts. No, no, no. <laughs> so when I have to comment. Um, I have the... There you go. 
No. Oh, you have the keyboard. So now it doesn't say no chatter. You might want to unlock it. Though. Unlock the thread. Because I think we're the only ones who can post while it's locked. Yep. Oh, stickied. We don't need to sticky it anymore, and it's unlocked. So yeah, so chatter there. away, comment away, because oh my god, some of those pictures are hilarious. Yeah. Um, the eighties child. Yeah, that was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, and some of them made me really laugh. Like, pictures Crystal you showed loved, your son's wedding. loved the dog on the bed with the cone, you know. Help oh god. me, help me. That was hilarious. Well, he so. was probably there snoring. Probably, because she said he was there for a good half hour. Yeah, he was so, snoring. He was snoring. He had to get a cone put on because he had a bandage taken off his foot because he had to have surgery, so he was so cute. Actually, I should probably post the picture of Gadget in his cone of shame. Yes, you should, because... There's yeah. a reason why we call him Hoover. I will so, post the picture. Yeah, he can post the picture now, so because the draw's over. So yeah, that's it. That's all we got. Coffee. Tea. Tim Hortons, because, you know, we're Canadian. Yep. Roll up the rim so one of us could win a car today. You just never know. I bought it so I could have. Oh, shit. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Happy knitting. Bye. See you all next week.